वेलकम बैक टू आवर स्प्रिंग बूट ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज टिल नाउ वी हैव लर्न हाउ टू क्रिएट ए स्प्रिंग बूट अप्लीकेशन फ्रॉम स्क्रैच वी हैव डन रेस्ट ए पी आई डेटा बेस कनेक्शन स्प्रिंग सिक्योरिटी जे डब्ल्यू टू इंटीग्रेशन नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न एन इसेंशियल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ एनी अप्लीकेशन डेट इज कॉल्ड लॉगिंग प्रॉपर लॉगिंग हेल्प अस टू ट्रैक द अप्लीकेशन बिहेवियर यू कैन इजली डिबग इशू and you can keep an eye on application health in production so this is very crucial thing so why logging matter logging is crucial for monitoring the application flow and diagnosing the issue so in the production log help us to understand what is happening inside our application in case something goes wrong with the help of log we can easily track it and we can fix our bug and issues so how many level of logs we have currently spring boot provides different log level like trace debug info war error each log level will provide different kind of information like trace will provide most detailed information usually for diagnosing the problem debug provide information that is very helpful for debugging and development similarly info so mostly people use info so info provide informational message that highlight the progress of the application war error and fatal we have three more type of log level war indicate a potential problem or something that could become an issue in the future like kind of i can say something deprecated you can easily see error indicate a significant problem or failure that need attention and the last one is called fatal sometimes people use this log level and it indicate a very severe error that will lead the application to abort that means if you are getting this kind of log so definitely you have to fix as soon as possible because it can impact your application so in recent the tutorial you have seen i have used this line so why i have used today we are going to easily understand it so we have done here debug that means we are giving log level as debug mode here i have given logging dot level and this is the package name so that's why when we done spring security we were able to see so many things from the spring security so first of all we are going to start with info so let's comment this for now so this is our controller here we are going to implement our first logger so for the log you can use log 4j2 log back any dependency so for now i am going to use sl4j so let's try to include in our class level so we have to use here private static final logger and here we have to use logger factory this will come from org.sl4j.spi and use here get logger and here we have to add our class name so our class name is here user controller so use user controller dot class and again you have to import this one also you have to import from org dot sl four j so we have included our logger so let's try to print so I'm going to copy this one so we already have so many rest api for now I'm going to test in this rest api only so what we can do just use logger dot so you can see we have everything info debug error so for now just use info and i am going to pass the message like getting user details for and here you can mention the id so let's stop the server and again rerun your project so currently i am having only one user in my database i have removed other user so here i am going to enter the id so it will provide us user detail of that id so let's click send so you can see here i am able to get the user detail now let's go and check the logger scroll right side you can see here i am getting the details like whatever we have added at line number 39 and if you scroll a little bit left it will include the more detail so here you can see how it is working in case if you change add debug so what will be happen when we run this application into debug mode then it will print so currently you can see we are getting very small log level only so if you will come to application dot property and if you add here logging dot level dot root equal to debug so here we are informing our spring boot application like we are enabling all the debug logger from the root level that means it will start from our application and what are the dependency we are using it will apply for everyone now if you stop it and if you run it you will see 
it will print huge log detail. You can see everything it's printing. So many error will also print here. So you can see everything it's going in depth. And whenever you use debug level, be ready to face this kind of thing. So generally people used to change as info. So let's stop and run. So now it will just print all the info only. In case you just want to apply log only for some package. So what you can do just use like logging dot level and after that you can include com example dot spring boot demo dot controller. So it will only applicable for that package. So this is in the console. So how we can save in the file. Yes, we can easily achieve that part also. So how you can do? Let me show you. Just use here logging dot file dot name. So here you can mention where you want to save. So I'm just going to give the name as logs spring underscore boot underscore demo dot log. So my file name will be here spring underscore boot underscore demo dot log and it will be saved inside the logs folder. So currently you can see one format we are seeing here year, month, date and all the timestamp. So this part also you can easily control. So let me show you how you can easily control here. So let me copy paste then I will explain to you. So here I am giving the pattern. You can see here percentage D then it is a date format. This is year, month, date, hour, minute and second. After that I am keeping here percentage hyphen 5 level. That means it is a just log level as I told you info debug every log will be print and it will try to align to the left with the width of 5 character. So you can see the space here right. So this kind of things you can control here and after that I am using here percentage logger and this is a size as 36. So here the name of the logger that means we are saying like please truncate to the maximum of 36 character because sometimes it will print so much use so we are going to control here like please print maximum 36 character after that we are using hyphen and percentage msg that means it is a masses whatever actual masses we are seeing here and after that we are using percentage n that means a new line character to separate the log entry so if i will try to remove this line and just save it and stop your server and again run. So you can see right now the date is not included. So this kind of things you can easily control and you can go through the spring document if you want to understand in more depth way. So this is the file explorer. Here you can see logs has been created and you can see here one file has been also added the file name is here spring underscore boot underscore demo so let's try to open that one and here you can see the time today is 23 august so you can see what are the things we have added here now if i will close this one and if i will call that rest api so whatever you will see the log in the console same thing you can easily see in the logger also so you can see at the last we are getting same thing so this thing you can also control like in the console please print this one and in the file please print this one so how you can do you can easily control so just copy this one and just put here file and from the console i'm going to remove the date stop your server and again restart so here you can see it is just showing time format and in the file we are seeing here year month date but in the console it is just like time minute and second only so this kind of things you can easily control now if you want to understand what will be happen if i will change with four let's change this one restart your server open the logger so you can see that earlier the space was more now the space is less so this is just basic level of log we are doing here file name is the name of the file and pattern dot file that means whatever you want in the file and dot console means whatever you want in the console like how you want to format the console output similarly if you want you can change as a var debug and try to play and see how the log is coming and you can also try to do some experiment with this logger property file some advanced logics are there like you can use the log rotation that means every day one file will be created and it will put into one location 
and you can put like the roll back time also like after 8 days please delete the older records so this kind of things i'm not going to discuss this is just a simple logging approach how you can implement in your application so that's it for the day if we have integrated logging into our spring boot application and we have explore how to customize and please remember logging is very vital for any kind of application in production so if you are going to deploy something in the production please add some logger so it will help you so in the next video we are going to see how to create the global exceptional handler